dear students now we are going to discuss fiber materials in detail in general optical fibers are long thin and flexible fiber strands of optically transparent materials here strands means optical thin wires okay this optical fibers are also called as optical wave guides there are certain requirements to be satisfied for selecting the optical fiber materials the first one is the material must be possible to make long thin and flexible fibers so fiber should be long thin and flexible one the next one is it must be transparent for efficient optical transmission that means the fiber materials should be optically transparent for transmitting the light signal through it okay the last one is it must be physically compatible with the cladding material because the fiber cable consists of both core and cladding okay so next different types of fiber materials there are different types of materials available for optical fibers it can be broadly classified into two types glass material plastic material in this glass materials silica is the pure raw material okay so here the glass material is further classified into fluoride glass material and active glass fiber and chalcosonite glass fiber plastic material is further classified into two types plastic optical fiber plastic glass silica material okay next glass fibers fibers which are made up of glass materials of either silica or silicate are known as glass fibers the optically transparent glasses consist of the oxide glasses so for getting this transparent property the glass is made by fusing the mixtures of metal oxides sulfides or selenides okay so here we can take the example silicon dioxide has a refractive index of 1.458 at 850 nanometer so this is widely used in this glass material if you want to change the refractive index for core and cladding we need to add oxides as a topants okay so if we are going to change the refractive index we have to add this oxides here boron trioxide germanium dioxide phosphorus pentoxide okay so this all are the oxide topants okay so here we know that the refractive index of the core is always greater than the refractive index of the gliding for better optical transmission so we are going to change the refractive index for core and gliding by adding the oxides to the silicon dioxide so here few examples are given here if you want to increase the refractive index of the core we have to add this germanium dioxide with the silicon dioxide so here this n1 is increased by adding this germanium dioxide at the same time we can maintain the gliding material as silicon dioxide there is an another example if you want to increase the refractive index we can add phosphorus pentoxide with this silicon dioxide so if you are going to keep the silicon dioxide as a core material we have to reduce the refractive index of the gliding by adding this boron trioxide with this silicon dioxide this is silicon dioxide okay so similarly this is an another example for the combination of germanium dioxide boron trioxide silicon dioxide here gliding for this combination is boron trioxide and silicon dioxide so from this we can come to know that if you want to increase the refractive index we can add this germanium dioxide and phosphorus pentoxide if you want to reduce the refractive index we can add fluoride as well as boron trioxide so this is the variation of refractive index with doping concentration next properties of silica glass high purity sand is the principal raw material for silica the glass which is composed of pure silica is called as silica glass 
it has major advantages or properties the first one is high resistance to breakage from thermal shock it has low thermal expansion a resistance to deformation at temperature as high as 1000 degrees centigrade so it is not getting easily deformed okay due to the temperature rise it has good chemical durability high transparency this all are the major advantages of silica glass okay so next one is active glass fibers active glass fibers are made up of glass material with rare earth elements rare earth elements means here we can consider erbium neodymium okay so rare earth elements can be combined with the glass material to give active glass fibers it has new optical and magnetic properties this active glass fibers are widely used to perform optical amplification attenuation and phase retardation okay so here the doping can be carried out for silica telluride and halide glasses okay. so commonly used materials for laser fibers are erbium and neodymium okay the next one is plastic optical fibers the plastic optical fibers are high bandwidth graded index polymer optical fibers so this polymer optical fibers are widely used for delivering high speed services directly to the customer premises for example high speed internet service can be accessible through this optical fiber okay it has higher optical signal attenuation so in this polymer optical fibers the core can be either polymethyl methacrylate simply pmma or perfluorinated polymer that is pf here the core diameters of plastic fibers are 10 to 20 times greater than silica fibers the thickness is greater here it can be used to fabricate connectors slices and transceivers for industrial controls for example automobile industries we can use this plastic fibers okay the next one is photonic crystal fibers simply pcf so in this photonic crystal fibers we are going to use micro structured fiber that is hole fiber so here the core structure of the pcf contains air holes which run along the entire length of the fiber so in this one it contains what air holes okay in the fiber structure here the size and spacing of the holes determine the light guiding characteristics so it is very important concept over here the air holes in the fiber cable decides the light guiding characteristic so there are two types of structures used here one is index guiding pcf another one is photonic band gap fibers okay